Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here. And today I want to talk about the Beavercraft Tools Glacier Bushcraft Knife. So let's put it through its paces. Now the blade is about four and a quarter inches long by just over an inch in depth and the thickness it's like three thirty seconds of an inch. So in metric, that'd be like ten and a half centimeters by two point seven centimeters by about two point five millimeters. The blade itself is uh, ten sixty six carbon steel, so um, I'm gonna have to keep it oiled just so it doesn't rust up. And the handle is made out of European walnut and is just over five inches long and um, in metric that's 12.7 centimeters and as you can see it's a full tang these screws are recessed so they don't rub into your hands so if you're using your knife for long periods of time it won't defect you and of course there's a lanyard hole <laughs> now the sheath can be worn two ways with the dangler like this or up higher, right on the belt, like this. I think I'm going to wear it like this because it feels more secure. The dangler kind of flops all over the place. So I'll be wearing it like this. So out of the box it does cut paper, but there seems to be a couple of spots along the blade that aren't quite as sharp as the other parts of the blade. And so in some places it'll actually tear. Now we'll see how it handles paracord pretty slick. It's sturdy enough for batoning light wood. Making feather sticks. Scraping up birch bark for tinder. Parking up the ferro rod. And lighting a fire. Okay, so my overall impression so far is that um, although it came sharp out of the box, it wasn't as sharp as it could have been. Uh, there was a couple of places along the blade's edge that caught and tore the paper. And, uh, but other than that, you know, I'm not going to shave with it anyway. Um, other, than, other than that, 
It performed well in cutting cordage, um, batoning a light stick, making feather sticks. Um, I don't beat the heck out of my knives typically, um, unless the spine is really thick. This is, well, it's thick enough for bushcraft, like it's 332, so two and a half millimeters. And um, so I'm sure that it could, it could take a bit of a beating. The wood handle feels comfortable in my hand. Because it's made out of carbon steel instead of stainless steel, it'll have to be oiled between uses just to keep it from rusting. I don't know about the durability yet. The price is very economical compared to other bushcraft knives. So you got to take that in consideration as well. So that, you know, it can make up for some of the shortcomings. The leather sheath is um, designed to be a dangler. And I find that when I'm wearing it, um, the knife hangs out too far away from my hip. And without something securely holding it in place, you know, I'm risking losing this in the field. Your knife is your most important asset out in the woods. So with it, you can you know, build a fire, build a shelter, um, harvest food. A knife is a tool that makes other tools. Now, when I first heard about the company, Beavercraft, I thought for sure they were Canadian because beaver is a symbol of our country. Then I went to their website and found out that they're actually Ukrainian. So uh, that was quite a surprise to me. Beavercraft has a whole line of knives, not only bushcraft knives, but they also have uh, like spoon carving knives, wood carving knives, and this is actually a smaller version of their bushcraft knives. They have some larger ones as well. But this glacier was just about the right size and the shape appealed to me. So this is the one I chose to get. So if you're looking for a bushcraft knife at a modest price, you should consider Beavercraft knives. I'll put a link down below in the description to their website. And the knives are also available on Amazon. So. Till next time, this is Muskrat Jim, signing out. For more Muskrat survival videos, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember to click the bell to receive notifications of newly uploaded videos on this channel.